Hello Peter, this is my response to your latest video selling it all 15 which uh, dealt with the subject of sex um, something that has changed or the education of which has changed quite a lot over the, the previous uh, 50 odd years I suppose uh, my experience itself is uh, from the early 1970s and it hadn't actually changed a lot from uh, what you were saying about earlier uh, we still found out from uh, people like the Alpheas of this world who I'm sure are still going today but were certainly about in the early 70s as well um, sex educa education itself um, well that was uh, one of those things that all the little boys at the back probably including myself were giggling away and sniggering um, uh, with a, I think we had a video that was shown at the time, I don't remember a great deal about it but uh, I seem to remember that it didn't actually give you a great deal of detail, didn't really give you a great deal of information for that matter, a few diagrams and pictures and things like that but um, most of our education came the same way that you did I suppose from listening to older brothers, things like that. Um, we had a magazine that used to float about, and I don't know if it still goes now, it was called H&E which is Health and Efficiency if I remember rightly which was a, a naturist magazine. Um, how people came about it, how they got hold of it, I really haven't got a clue because I certainly didn't know any naturists that I was aware of at the time. No families that I were aware of were naturists, but uh, this magazine used to turn up and um, as the title suggests, or uh, as I say with the naturist community, it was a picture of uh, ordinary members of the public in uh, sort of nudist camps or whatever they, they went to at the time. Uh, people of all ages, so they, they weren't exactly models, they, <laughs> they certainly weren't the glamour models and thing that you've had uh, over the years in other sort of types of publications, but uh, I suppose in some ways that's all there was at the time. Um, you did used to get sort of other magazines, the uh, what you class as the adult magazines uh, that were going, probably the Playboys of this world I suppose. Once again I haven't got a clue where they came from either, they just sort of uh, used to circulate around the playgrounds or in the bushes or something when you used to go home, sort of look around in the woods and if you find these things sometimes as you used to find you know anything eager for knowledge we were as I'm sure everybody was at that time and still is now um, and those in those days obviously the pictures were a bit different to what they are now um, a lot more tasteful I suppose and in some ways they're quite arty I suppose in, in today's world um, today's magazines if you ever see one and I haven't seen one for a while I must admit but they're more like a sort of gynecological <laughs> textbooks I think which uh, I must admit doesn't really do a lot for me I must I'd much rather leave something to the imagination which is uh, something that used to happen in years gone by um, but apart from that no real difference I suppose really um, I suppose that the education itself has changed um, I suppose in the 70s we'd had the swing in the 60s and the permissive society as it was called was uh, into full swing uh, women were sort of far more liberated about what they were so things were a bit more open I think that's one of the things that um, has happened certainly since your time um, and certainly up there today is that there's this sex is everywhere isn't it um, people are far more open about it you can't move without uh, really seeing sex wherever you want to whether you whether, whether you want to or not actually in some cases as you pointed out there's magazines books videos the internet TV films whatever you wanted to you know music even uh, sex sells everything nowadays but it's uh, um, certain people uh, sort of album covers sort of draw you in I suppose I've seen videos on on, on YouTube itself actually with uh, uh, a very suggestive picture and you think oh, I'll have a look at that you know <laughs> why not and it's nothing it uh, really isn't worth it so but stupid I suppose that's uh, one in the eye for me I suppose you should never learn some people do they but as I said sex sells everything it's there now everybody knows about it it's it's expected I suppose in the past people never talked about it but something that happens behind closed doors behind the bedroom door um, no one ever talked about it I know it always happened obviously it, it's always been there otherwise you wouldn't be here would we um, and I'm sure all the um, other things that, that sex involves used to go on as well I'm, I'm sure you read uh, novels from years gone by and it certainly suggests that uh, these sort of things did happen um, I'm, I'm sure that people are no different today than what they were in those days but nowadays it's, it's there isn't it to uh, movies as I said even on the TV especially here in Britain I know it's different over in America and in other countries but um, they're a lot stricter on what they're shown um, but uh, I know from the fact that you can sit down in front of the TV in an evening with your children and and, uh, and I don't know who's worse off actually, who's squirming the most? It could be the kids, it could be the adults that are more embarrassed I think by some of the things that come up. Um, I'm not for censorship, that's another debate altogether but <laughs> you do wonder sometimes don't you? Um, one thing I do, I think about uh, sex education itself, I don't know whether it is. it has changed nowadays um, but um, 
I don't think it was stressed at the time either was that although we were sort of told basically how it happens and what happens we weren't really told the consequences of what happened apart from the fact that um, you know if you're married it obviously produces babies and that's it but uh, nowadays as we all know, in fact I only saw a, a thing on the TV yesterday about uh, underage mothers or teenage mothers and single mothers and all that sort of thing. I do wonder whether um, it is stressed actually the consequences of your actions sometimes. Uh, I don't wish to be prudish, I'm certainly not prudish in any way whatsoever, but um, you do wonder sometimes whether that is stressed. Some of these uh, girls get themselves into trouble if you want to put it that way. Um, um, did they know? Because it can ruin their lives sometimes, I suppose. It, it, it stops the life that they were, they were aiming to have, possibly. Um, and sort of shackles them a bit. But uh, I suppose that's a responsibility, isn't it? That's uh, You'd have to take responsibilities for your actions. Everybody, all ages, has got to do that. Uh, I think I've wandered off the subject just a little bit. <laughs> um, thanks for your video again. Um, it's nice to hear uh, someone of your age group. This is not by no means uh, an insult, but uh, older people have always been very shy about talking about sex. Uh, I know you were sort of building up to it and probably putting it off for as long as you possibly could, but as you'd mentioned it, you had to go through with it, I suppose. But uh, entertaining. <laughs> I know the thing about the dogs. Yes, I remember seeing that as well. The dogs in the street and you thought, what's going on there, mummy? <laughs> no, they didn't like to tell you. Too embarrassing, wasn't it? But uh, thanks very much. Keep them coming. Um, I shall keep me subscribing. I know you've had some comments suggesting that the videos might be sort of getting a bit boring, but I don't think so. It's always good to hear these things. Um, as, as someone else pointed out in one of the comments about the John Borman film, Hope and Glory, about the war years, uh, and yourself and a couple of other people I've seen, so I do bring that back to mind. That was, uh, if anyone hasn't seen that film, it's well worth it. If you enjoyed Peter's videos, check that out, Hope and Glory, the film. Anyway, I've spoken for far too long, far more than I intended to. Keep the videos coming, Peter. All the best. Thank you very much. Goodbye.